Adam Stockhausen, you're the production designer for the French Dispatch, uh, which tells various stories from the uh, fictional publication that gives the film its name, um, and for which you created the town of Ennui. Uh, uh, you know, its different districts, its history. Uh, you know, it, it, it seems like such this full lived in vision of this town. What's the starting right. point for imagining that place with uh, director Wes Anderson? Uh, well, the the starting place was was the, was the town itself. You know, we we were just looking at a, a lot of reference and a lot of imagery of of of, how, of how, what this town could be. How, you know, how to make it, what the different uh, areas of the town could look like, and then uh, and then we started working on the Sazerac story, the the, the cycling reporter, uh, which we 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 ended up filming sort of in little slices in between the other stories, and we kind of spread it out. Uh, and and a and a bunch of it sort of turned into miniatures, um, but uh, but it was a great way to kind of get you know our our arms around what the what this place w was going to be um, because all the other stories, while they're very separate from each other, they all they're they're all sort of nooks and crannies of that of that town of that place, and so it was it was a, it was a great help for me to kind of launch right into uh you know what is this place you know and then that led to the discussion of well how much of this are we going to build how much is going to be miniatures how much is going to be location we want it all to be in one location and let's start talking about what that what that place is and then you know the the, the it really started kind of top down that way and then the the other pieces could start to fill in uh the the, the blanks uh, and, you know, there are so many different like visual elements uh, in it, as you mentioned, the miniatures and sets. What was that? What did that proportion end up sort of being like the amount of sets you built versus location versus? Miniatures? Oh, my goodness. I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I, it, it, um, I, I didn't really keep track of like, you know, the, the, the percentages on, on miniatures and things like that. And the, and the location stuff, I got to say, the way, you know, we, we treat locations sometimes as 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 just a shell and we end up building an awful lot uh you know so so like you could you could kind of say that the entire prison sequence is a location because you know we didn't shoot it in the studio uh it, it was in the shell of a of a of a you know of a of a, of a factory and, and you know and then the the sort of sally port area where where uh Cadazio comes to, to to talk to to rosenthaler uh, it's on a bridge. It's on a location, except you know it's a completely built set, uh, uh, you know, out in the, out in this place. Um, and so we do a lot of that. So it it it, it it's a, it's a kind of a shifting ground a little bit to to say what exactly is a location and what exactly is a built set. Um, but we uh, we it, you know I, I I guess you know we were we we were in this sort of abandoned felt factory out on the edge of town, and it felt like we were there probably half. You know, I would say maybe half and half between uh, between the other locations in the town areas, and then the the, the times that we were actually on a, on a stage. Um, and you've worked with uh, Wes Anderson uh, a number of times now. Won mm -hmm. an Oscar for Grand Budapest Hotel, uh, and he has, of course, this incredibly distinct, unique visual approach. Mm -hmm. uh, how does working with him, you know, as a as a production designer, compare to collaborating with other directors? Well, um, yeah, yeah, he ha he has this incredibly strong uh, visual, visual, visual style. But the in a in a in a way, there's one thing that's incredibly similar in to to working with him as as to working with anybody else, and, th and that is, we start the conversation talking about the story, talking about you know what what it means and and what it what it looks like, and we're pulling references and 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 our you know kind of our, our first steps are are, are there exactly as they would be working with anybody else the 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 main the main difference i would say is that there there's a with the with the animatic storyboard that 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 he develops it becomes this very intricate puzzle that has to be sort of pulled and and de-threaded to say well this piece is this piece is the miniature and this piece is another thing and this um you know this shot is in is in a in a in a location but the the reverse is going to be an entirely built set uh, where you would think that you're just reversing in, in the in the place that you started, um, and so there it's a bit more uh, you can't you can't sort of rely on the the sort of normal patterns of things in in, in a way, um, and and that that structurally is a, is a bit different. But but I would say that the 
the, the more important part, the like the, 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 the how do we get from the words on the page to, to the image on the screen, that is, 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 a, is, is very similar. Um, and this film uh, has uh, segments in black and white. There are portions of it in color. Like, how does how does that your visual approach change? Like, in terms of textures and 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 and, and just like the whole mise en scene. Like, what what goes in? What are the different considerations? Well, you know, it, this one it was, it was a this one, it was a little bit tough because we didn't necessarily know. It's not like we sat down on day one uh, and said, okay, here's the deal. You know, the, this and this and this are gonna be black and white and this is gonna be in color. It, it, it was a bit organic uh, that it developed as we, as we were working and as, as Wes and, and Bob Yeoman were, were, were shooting tests, they were uh, sort of falling in love with the black and white imagery and then saying, well, how about if this <laughs> is, is black and white? And, and so that, that sort of was developing as we were developing things. Um, so it so we there were there were some pieces where we knew you know right, right away that we were going to be in black and white and 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 in some of those we decided to actually just work in the grayscale um somewhat for clarity and simplicity but but somewhat so that the experience uh that the actors were having was was within the 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 framework of what the ultimate visual experience was going to be. Um, there were other parts of the movie where we were we knew that we were going to be sliding back and forth between color and black and white. And so that was a little bit trickier. And you know, of course you're using the, the, the iPhone uh, crutch to, to sort of help always be aware of what you're going to be seeing in black and white. But what, what we were really trying to do was, was work in color, constantly checking what we were going to be uh, getting in, in black and white at the same time. So, like in the in the in the Rosenthaler story in the the, the hobby room, we knew that space was going to definitely be uh, seen in color, but also seen in black and white. So, um, you know, we're we're trying to pay attention to both at the same time. Uh, and the film also has uh, different segments telling different stories. Uh, you know, was there a, a unique approach to uh, each uh, individual segment, and 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 what was the you know sort of process of making them into this coherent whole? Well, it uh, two things there. I mean, it it it, it we 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 sort of shot. We didn't pick uh, you know random pieces of the different ones to shoot uh, in a scramble. We we really shot them as sort of coherent pieces as stories. And so um, it, it, it really felt like making four really quick, um, small-ish <laughs> uh, movies, you know, kind of back to back to back to back. Um, and so there was a, there, there, there was a logic to that, you know, like you, you were just sort of doing all the stuff that you would do spread over a longer period of time on a complete movie, just all squashed into, into a smaller piece. Um, yeah, each one, there, there are unique things in each, you know, in each one there. And, and there's, and there's stuff that, um, that, that happens in, in one that won't happen uh, in another, like, like for instance, in the, in the, in, in the Rosenthaler story, there's a, there's a, a, there's two pieces where we're, we're actually using painted forced perspective backgrounds um, with, uh, with, with frozen sort of tableau vivant people uh, in, in front of them. Um, and, and dollying across that instead of actually having a set, you know, a, sort of a traditional set uh, at all, or, or going to a, a new place for each one of those areas where the, where the painting travels, we're just sliding along this, uh, this tableau. Uh, and that, that was unique to that story. And the um, cell animation uh, kidnapping sequence is, is unique to the, 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 the police uh, story. Um, so, so there are different, different things in, in each one, but, but, but over, overall, we, we kind of dealt with it as a sort of a consecutive um, uh, small, you know, different small films, but, but done with the same team and sort of done with the same, you know, um, style in a way, because we, 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 we really did want it all to feel like stories that take place within the same town that do have a lot in common with each other. And so we wanted that commonality to come through. 
Um, and you know, how involved was the process of, of set decoration? Because one of the things that's uh, so special about uh, Wes Anderson films, like every detail feels so specific. Like if a stapler on a desk is at a 45 degree angle, that feels like a deliberate visual choice and everything uh, feels very uh, thought out. Uh, so, so what is that process? I mean, it's the same, it, 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 it's, it's, it's inseparable from, from any other element of the process, you know? So the, 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 the conversations about, about the location and how to use a location or, or developing a, a, a built set, it just sort of includes the, the, the decoration kind of from, from, if not day one, day two, you, you know, and, and, it, and, it, and the conversation just sort of as the, as the, as the sort of broader strokes are, 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 are getting locked in, then the finer grain stuff is, becomes the subject matter. But the conversation just goes all the way, uh, you know, right up until the moment that we shoot it. And we'll often be visiting and revisiting and revisiting things, you know, as, as the, as the things are getting dialed in, right? So we'll 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 be, um, you know, going from a from from a drawing to looking at a set when it's in its bare bones kind of plywood state, and and adjusting and and tweaking things. But we keep looking at it as the as the rough dressing. Uh, you know, is, is, is starting to, to be assembled and where we've, we've picked pieces over, you know, emails back and forth, but then we kind of look at them in the space and we come back and, and, we, and we take another peek and we sort of do that uh, on a kind of a rolling basis all, all the time. And so it's a very fluid process, you know, it's not, it's not like there's one set of conversations and then bam, all the, all the furniture shows up, you know, it's, it's, it's really uh, fluid. Well, uh, congratulations on your work on this film, uh, and, and thank you so much for talking with me about it. Uh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.